Hey guys, Bernie from The Traveling Dog, out with the dogs, and I'd just like to talk a little bit about uh, comfort zones. Comfort zones in personal life, with with your your day-to-day -day, um, routines. We like, a lot of people talk about stepping out of your comfort zone. Comfort zones are the, your, your worst enemy, and, uh, and which is true, but I've learned that it's not necessarily the comfort zone itself um, that is that kind of takes control of us. It's it's more the fear, the fear of what will happen if we step out of it. Because we all love getting out of our comfort zones when it comes to um, roller coasters or bungee jumping or um, I did the skeleton the other week. We're we're willing to do that stuff for a bit of a rush, and all of that stuff's out of our comfort zone. But the reason we're willing to do that, Avalanche, she was just about to roll in some coyote scat. So <laughs> the reason we're willing to, um, let's check it out. I'm going to show you some coyote scat for a bit. So if you don't like seeing poop, then don't look. It's got a whole bunch of like, no, wait a second. That there's a couple dogs that walk on this trail and they're fed some nasty, nasty stuff. Um, I don't know what she all feeds them. Um, there's all kinds of bits of apple and um, nasty, I don't know what it is, but don't feed your dogs crap. And kick the poop off the trail, or at least pick it up. It's, it's disgusting. Uh, it's, we're out on this nice trail. There's kind of farmland all around. I have no problem with people kicking it off into the side because it, it's fine out there, uh, obviously not in parks and stuff, but on a trail like this, at least kick it off, especially if your dog has nasty poops like that. Um, but anyway, sorry I got sidetracked. I was talking about comfort zones, and we all love to get out of our comfort zone a little bit, let loose a bit, do that roller coaster, something that gives us a little bit of an adrenaline rush, and then we go back to our comfort zone. And it, it's more the fear that people are afraid of. It's the fear of the unknown that people are like, yeah, well, I'm not going to do that because I don't know. The roller coaster, you know you're going to get off safely, hopefully. And the skeleton, the bungee jumping, people have done it before. You see them do it, and you trust that it's going to be fine. So the fear aspect of it kind of goes away. Now, when it comes to other things like going out on your own, quitting your job, doing something that you want, um, kind of... Get, getting rid of that that daily routine that you're comfortable with people get very scared of, of it why because they're scared of the unknown but really it's like the roller coaster thing you know that people get on and you see people getting off and they're fine and when they get off they're like oh my goodness that was amazing and they're 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 high on life the people about to get on are like, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. But they're completely different after they get off that ride. Same with other things in life, like quitting your job to start something new. I went through this five years ago. I went to my boss's office. I said, I need to get out of here. I, I'm, I'm quitting. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to quit and I'm going to start something, um, kind of follow my passions and start my own business and see what happens. I was, I was scared. I, I had no, no clue what I was doing. All I knew is I didn't want to do what I was doing. So it was that getting onto the roller coaster, I, I, I was scared. But the problem is with most people is they don't see it as the roller coaster. They see it as they just see the scared part. They don't see the people that have been on the ride, the people that have done the ups and downs and got to the end of the ride and have, were high on life. And they're like, that was amazing. The reason people don't see that is because they surround themselves with the wrong people. They don't surround themselves with the people that have been on the roller coaster and have experienced it. And was like, that was awesome. I would definitely do that again. They surround themselves with the people that are about to get onto the ride the people that have not done it, the people that want to do it, but haven't done it, and you can't learn from them. You can't learn um, the feelings you're going to go through. You can't learn the excitement that you're going to go through. And 
you get the idea. So surround yourself with people that have been on the roller coaster and done what you want to do. Because those are the people you're going to learn from. You're not going to learn from uh, the people that you hang around with every weekend. You're not going to learn from your neighbor that you hang out with every night. You're not going to learn. You're going to learn, but you're going to learn the same things over and over. And you're going to be stuck in that little comfort zone. So get out there. Surround yourself with some other people. It's going to be a little bit scary because you're not going to be comfortable. You're not going to know how to talk to these people. You have to be willing to listen, listen and learn, take some advice and just see where it takes you. So that is my tip of the day. Go find people that have been on the roller coaster and enjoy the journey. Burning from the Traveling Dog, check out travelingdog.com, uh, traveling with two L's, that's our blog for some more stuff and we will talk to you later. Bye.